Good morning, everyone. This is Tim Wilmot speaking from Wizard Systems. Thanks for joining me today for Goldmine 101, our regular series of Goldmine presentations. And this morning, I'm going to focus on the Service Center in Goldmine, a very useful tool if you've got any colleagues that are in a customer service role. You have a help desk, you have technicians, you have engineers. This is a great way of them using a system, the same system that sales and marketing people use to truly share information across the company and a great tool for tracking any service request or if you give out advice to clients, a great tool. Now this presentation will be only a short presentation, approximately a quarter of an hour or so. So it's just an overview of this feature. It's not meant to be in-depth training. My company Wizard Systems offer many extensive training options if you want to consider those. Now on the call today, and we have 48 people on the call this morning, I know that we're all using different versions of Goldmine, but most of us I know are on Goldmine Premium Edition, which is the release, which is the edition of Goldmine that has this feature, the Service Center. If you're, I think there's a few of you that are using Goldmine Corporate Edition, sadly, um, this isn't relevant to you. Um, this feature is only in the Goldmine uh, Premium Edition uh, uh, version. I'll be showing you, though, the latest version of Goldmine, um, but pretty much everything I show you will, will relate to all releases of Goldmine Premium Edition. Now, as you joined the call, uh, you'd have been informed that the audio part of the presentation is one way only. Uh, your microphone is on mute, duh, deliberately so. If you've got any questions, please type those into the uh, question box on your meeting control panel, which you should be able to locate somewhere in the top right corner of your screen, and I'll do my best to answer those at the end. It's probably best to type those in as soon as you think of them, rather than waiting uh, towards the end of the session, just so that I've got enough time to catch them. Also, at the end, I'll be giving you an update to any Goldmine product news. Keep in the loop there with any information relating to Goldmine. Uh, the call is being recorded as well, by the way, so after the presentation, you will receive an automatic email from our system with a link to the recording, so you can uh, listen to it again at your leisure. And we'll most likely post it up to our YouTube channel as well. OK, so let's get started. As I normally do, just a very, very brief mention about my company, Wiz Assistance. Most of you know of us, uh, work with us on Goldmine. Uh, all we do is CRM. That's all we've done. We've done a long time. We've implemented well over 3,000 systems all over the UK and further afield. We've got services dedicated to making sure you get the most out of Goldmine, so we can give you any assistance in implementation of Goldmine, upgrades, customizing Goldmine, integrating it to other applications. We do actually promote a very popular range of uh, probably about a dozen popular add-on solutions to Goldmine that extend its capabilities further, make it do more things. Uh, so we, we support and supply those. We can offer extensive training, of course, at your place. Uh, we can come to you or you can come to us. We've got a nice training center just north of uh, Bristol in the UK. And also we can do training online. If you're um, short on time or you don't want to travel, we can do interactive training online. And finally, support. We've got a nice, friendly, responsive support help desk to answer any of your calls. OK, so let's dive in and take a quick run through the service center in Goldmine. So this is the latest release of Goldmine. Of course, we've got a contact record there in front of us. And the first place where a user can see support activity is on a Cases tab. So this is a little Cases tab I've displayed there. You can obviously uh, dictate where that tab appears, whether it's on or off, um, from your preferences here uh, on that Contact tab bar. But on that Cases tab, we can see all of the cases logged against that client and some typical columns that you might want to see that you can group and sort by there. 
how do these cases get into the system? Well, you could create a new case by clicking on your right-hand mouse button and going to new case there, or via the service center. So the service center is the central place in Goldmine where you'll see all of your service issues on the go right now. Um, if I just click in the top left corner here, I can toggle between a view of seeing one service call or, or all of the service calls. How did I get there? Well, I got to it, there's a few ways of doing that, but I got to it from the service menu there on the navigation uh, panel down the bottom left-hand corner. So there's all of my service issues. Again, you can decide what columns you can see there. You'll notice that there's a few bold buttons across the top there to do things with the highlighted call to dictate what, what act what activities, what cases you see. You can group and sort by this screen as well, well, like you can in any sort of grid type display. And a nice sort of visual alert of uh, where are you at in the resolution of this issue. Now against a specific issue, uh, there are a few things that you can change. You can tell Goldmine what sort of information you want to track against this call. Every call is numbered. Now, now, this is quite a complicated little case number here. You can decide in the setup of the service center, you can decide the formatting of your, of your numbering. So every, every case that comes into your organization, every service issue is logged with a unique number and you can decide the formatting on that. Of course, it's linked to a company and a contact. We've got a little hyperlink there to dive to that contact. We've got a one-line description of this call. We've got a big notes box there in the description box uh, where we can type in a lot more information about this call. Then over on the right-hand side, still in the top, still in the top uh, half of the screen here, we've got some key fields. These two, these labels here that you see where it says category, type, origin, those labels can be changed to reflect what information you want to track, as indeed can the uh, drop-down list that you've got within, within that particular field as well. You can dictate what you see there as well. And then, as you normally have in Goldmine, running across the middle of the record, you've got a tab bar that allows you to see more information about this particular case. So here on the Contacts tab, we've got all of the people that relate to this case. When we created the case, of course, it's linked to a contact record, but we could associate, we could easily link this to other people in our database um, and, and describe what, what's their role on this case, what's the reason why they're, on, why they're associated with this case. We've got some basic notes. Uh, of course, like any note screen, you can add them in there and the date and time stamped with the name of the user that created them. Of course, a key part of uh, your, your, your case tracking, assuming that you're not able to solve this as the case comes into your company, you're not able to solve it here and now, you schedule tasks and reminders. You record things that you do along the way. You can record emails. Emails that you send, emails that you receive can be recorded against the case and they will appear in history as you've done them, like any, like the normal history tab against the contact record there, normal sort of display of when, what's, what was the activity, what was the type of activity, when did the activity occur, who was the user at your place that did it, a short reference, and I'm just showing there that preview, toggling there that preview section just so I can see more background information to that activity or email. Any outstanding activities are on the normal pending tab, and you can see there one of many ways of scheduling new reminders uh, about this case. Other tabs that we've got here, resolution. This is where we can actually maintain and interact with the knowledge base in Goldmine. So for anyone that hasn't seen the knowledge base in Goldmine, um, here it is here, a hierarchical searchable, sophisticated way of tracking all of the support information that you want to share amongst your team, typical errors and resolutions to them. Of course, the knowledge base is used in, in many other ways in Goldmine, but it's got particular relevance to the service center in resolving issues 
um, as I can search that knowledge base for this particular issue. If I find a suitable resolution, I can select it, and that will uh, give me a nice way of closing off the call. We've got the team who is working on this case in our company, different tasks that we're doing um, with, a, with a sort of start and end date, uh, sort of similar in a way to, to our activities, but more if, you, if you're more into a, a, handling this as, say, as a project with a start time and an end time and how much of that task have you done, there's a little percentage figure there, a nice alternate way of tracking all the things that you want to do. And finally, attachments. Maybe you need to track documents relating to this client or you need to store any documents. That's a nice way of associating those files there. So a great way of tracking all the information about the call and of course using the service center you at a glance can see everything on the go right now you can see all of your open cases cases specific to you and so on now there's a couple of other tools in goldmine to make sense of all this information so for example first of all there's the report center the goldmine report writer in the system and there are in the service report section there there are a few reports. You've got a little preview window there to show you what the report looks like to print out that information. These reports can be changed. All the data's in Goldmine. We can customize those reports. We also do support the Crystal Reports reporting tool, the third-party reporting tool that's often supplied with Goldmine. Now, as well as reports, you also have dashboards. And there is a sample case dashboard in Goldmine. And there we are, as we normally have with a dashboard, we've got a combination of some graphical display of information, a bar graph there, could be a pie chart, could be a line chart, and then more of a tabular display. Again, we can dive into those. And with this dashboard feature, you can create your own dashboards as well. Maybe you want to integrate some information from somewhere else in Goldmine or from some other application. That too is possible with the the powerful dashboard feature there, but that's just an example of uh, a, an example uh, dashboard that you get shipped with the Goldmine system. So there we are, a quick run through of the service center in Goldmine, how it appears against a contact record, how you normally manage these issues via the service center there, and monitoring your performance with the dashboards and the report center. So, as I normally do, uh, we, would, we would like to open out the session to any questions you may have uh, relating, of course, to service tracking Goldmine, but I'm willing to answer any question you've got um, concerning Goldmine. So, the first question from Pat, can you record the number of hours worked on a call if you mean a case, uh, yes, you can. Uh, it might be possible through the Goldmine report, right? It certainly would be possible using the Crystal Reports tool and the dashboard feature. So yes, you can, but you might need a little bit of assistance there to, to access that feature. Uh, next question from Natalie. How do you make emails relevant to the case logged under history within the case? Is there a way to separate it from other history? Well, the, the, call, the emails will still go into normal history against the customer's record. But when you, when you have an incoming email, there is an option above the email to link it to a case that relates to that customer already. So as long as you've created a case against that client, incoming email comes in. Of course, it's automatically linked to that contact record, but you should see, depending on whether you're seeing the email in Goldmine or Outlook, the ability to link it to an existing case record. So that's the way of doing that. Uh, next question from Vernon. Can you access via the web? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, now, there is Goldmine web. Uh, we are shortly going to be Goldmine Web is, is a web access capability to Goldmine. It's included with the latest versions of Goldmine. 
and later on in May, the next release of Goldmine is going to include the ability to access the cases via the web. There are right now many other options to consider to if you're out and about to access uh, Goldmine via the web um, uh, that you might want to consider that we can give you advice on. Vernon. De depending on what you want to do with those those uh, that access, maybe you want to access emails as well, other applications, we've got other solutions there to assist you. Uh, next question from Natalie, how do I personalize the, the case dashboard? The case dashboard I actually showed you was a dashboard that's actually supplied from Goldmine. Um, so you can't change that one actually, Natalie, but you can clone it. You can uh, create your own dashboards as well. We actually gave some training on dashboards a little while ago. We will be doing some more online training on dashboards in the near future, or if you want assistance, if anyone wants assistance on creating a dashboard, uh, we can do more of a one-to-one -one session with you as well. Okay, I don't think there's any more questions coming through, so thanks to the three of you for those really interesting questions. Um, as I normally do on this call, give you an update to any Goldmine product news. So Goldmine, 2015.2 hotfix 4 is now out now it was delayed a couple of weeks uh, more information on exactly that there's actually quite a lot in hotfix 4 and more information is included on our blog um, some of you I know are subscribed have subscribed to the goldmine blog uh, but there you are hotfix for more information there in summary a lot more, a, a lot of improvements in the Outlook integration between uh, um, Goldmine and Outlook. So, as long as you've got a maintenance contract, you can you can easily deploy and roll out Hotfix for there to take advantage of that. But keep posted to our Goldmine blog for any Goldmine news, hints and tips, and uh, product updates there. Now, we are running a Goldmine introduction course at our Bristol Center on the 3rd of May. There are some places on that. So if you've got any new starters in your company, they'd be very welcome to attend. But we, we can offer any training on any aspect of Goldmine at whatever level should you need that. Next week, we are planning to show, um, watch out for our session next week, we are planning to show a new and very exciting free tool for Goldmine reporting. So if you're looking for an easy way of producing some really nice looking reports and it doesn't cost you an awful lot of money, stay tuned for that. Uh, watch out for our invites that normally go out on a Friday, probably a Friday afternoon for next Tuesday. As always, please email me for any suggestions on future topics. Uh, we always love to show something that's not going to take too much of our time on a, on a Tuesday morning takes maybe 10 minutes or so of our time. It is relevant to a lot of people, not just a niche, a niche sort of uh, specialist topic, something that's relevant to a wide audience. Please let me know, Tim Wilmot, uh, my email address, tim at wizard-systems.com. So um, thanks very much for your time this morning. Watch out for the recording. Um, please let me know of any future topics, but thank, thanks for your support of Goldmine, my company, and your time this morning. Have a good day, and we'll hopefully catch up with you next week to show you that uh, exciting new reporting tool. Thanks very much indeed.